When I grew up, football, even the football place, it was my own safe place, it was my home. Even in the hardest winter, you know, when there was snow or the rain was horrible, I was playing football. It was also about fantasy, because everybody of us, he wants to be a professional football player. And this was also my dream. One day I decided to leave the country and to go to Rwanda. I saw what football means to the kids here. When I arrived I saw, okay, there's no equipment for the kids and uh, didn't even have shoes or stuff like this. No footballs, no, no proper footballs. I mean, they played with plastic bags, cuddled in each other. I decided uh, to try to bring the football to every kid, even in the rural areas, even to the poor kids who can't afford the fees for the bigger football clubs. I started training them here at the Dufatania organization and also at the Root Foundation in Kigali. When I came to these kids, they played football with slippers. Nowadays, we organized uh, shoes for them, so they have proper football shoes with, with a good quality. The jerseys, I was like, wow. Because then they started acting like a team. And I was like, man, a jersey can change a lot. At the beginning it was just kids, but not a team, you know, it was really chaotic. The kids, they fight it with each other, weren't on point. Like when the training started at 5, they came at 5.30 or at 6 and without any excuses. And nowadays I saw men, they became a team. <laughs> Communication was, at the beginning, difficult because we didn't know each other. We had no connection to each other. Nowadays we developed our own language. We, we started speaking in our own team language where everybody can understand anybody, sometimes without words, sometimes it's a move. Sometimes it's a noise, and sometimes it's just an action. That makes me also feel really proud because of this deep connection between the players and me as a coach. Yes. Five. It was always important uh, to teach the kids uh, how to be disciplined, how to accept the rules. They don't listen to you. And at the beginning it was like this. For me, you know, at the beginning I came to this place and I was like, okay, what is, what is my own purpose? I was like, okay, but my purpose was at least to teach them Discipline, uh, following the rules, like when they have to li line up, staying behind each other, don't push each other away, stuff like this. And uh, I started with push ups. But with the whole team and also me, when the kids have to do to make push-ups, I'm also part of the team. I go down with them and I make the push-ups with them. Nowadays I think it works. The kids are disciplined, 
They're coming on time. They line up in a good way without pushing each other. Okay, guys, line up. Line up. They're taking the jerseys and even they really they feel really responsible for the equipment of the of the whole team. So they're coming every Friday to wash their own jerseys because they are white and they are always dirty after a training. That makes me as a coach really proud to see it when there's a team growing. Also, we started playing our own game, which is called Mingo Mingo. Which means like the kids, they jump into groups. I, I say the number and they have to find their teammates, build some groups. I always say Mingo Mingo and they answer with Mingo. Even when, when they are really exhausted and they have to make push-ups, so we make some muscle training and body training. They are out of breath, they start saying Mingo, which motivates them a lot. A team, and that makes me really happy because uh, I can feel the whole energy when, when I saw them together. They're staying in front of me and I see, okay, maybe they don't have a family or they don't have that support from their family because the family is busy with working. Doesn't mean I'm the game changer because at the end of the day, we win together and we would lose together. their work. It's their energy. And they fight for it. These are the small things who can change a lot. Who can change a whole life maybe. For me, my biggest goal would be to bring football to all the kids in the world. To all the kids who want to play football but maybe don't have the chance. Because when I remember my childhood, man, without football, maybe I, would, I wouldn't be the same person. And my biggest dream would be to give every kid the chance to play football. to use the energy in a good way, to work at the talent they have inside. To follow the dream. I want to give the kids a safe space here in, here in this country. Where they can feel home, where they can feel safe. Where they don't have to fear anything because they stay together. As a team. they can help each other. When I leave this country, man, I still have in my, in, in, in my mind that these kids have each other, support each other, and nowadays I feel great because I'm sure when I leave this country, the team will remain. They will stay together. They will support each other. It's really
really valuable to know that someone is behind you, who would protect you, and who would support you for everything you want to reach in your life. <laughs>